Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're not installing the screen protector. This time we are installing a dbrand skin for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, I did get this a couple weeks ago and it, it got in here like a week and a half ago, but I was I was working on a screen protector video, so I I let I delayed this a little bit. So, so right here we have a dbrand skin. I got the black carbon fiber. The camera piece, I got it white, but they also added a black carbon fiber one. Uh, but I did get three uh, white carbon fiber pieces. The top of the front, I got it in blue, also carbon fiber. And the bottom front in white, because my favorite three colors are blue, white, and black. So very quickly, uh, this is the packaging it came with. I So far, it's so good. I really like the packaging. I like what Dbrand does. And I also have a I also have the tutorial playing in the background, just in case I need a little bit of help. So this comes with, of course, the pieces that stick, as well as this thing, which are just... I don't know if it comes with instructions. It might come with a link to what I'm watching on my uh, computer right now. But I don't think it comes with instructions. It does come with a nice microfiber cloth. And, of course, the other pieces, which hopefully will come off. There we go. Overall, very good packaging. So as you can see, two pieces for the top, three for the camera. Three for the camera, two for the bottom, and one large one for the back. Alright, so here we have my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Looks amazing, but I'm going to shut it down for now because I don't need it on. So in the tutorial, uh, they said to put on the, the camera one first, so that's what I'm going to do. Does that look straight to you guys? Is that good? I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. All right, now time for the back part, which is probably gonna be uh, the hardest one, I think, because it requires the most time and the most steps. Not really, not a lot of steps, but it just, it does require the most coordination. So now I'm just giving it a nice wipe here because I definitely don't want any fingerprints on the back. That will ruin the whole thing. Well, actually, you wouldn't even be able to tell if it has any uh, fingerprints or anything like that because the skin will be on. All right, here we go. So this one, like I said, it's gonna be kind of hard. I am working a bit with a weird angle here, so this might not be the best. Screw it, I'm just gonna put it on like a screen protector. It's way too hard the other side, the other side. Or the way to do it the other way. Close enough, but the video tells you that you need a hair dryer, so I got my sister. Wait, hold up, I see a bubble there. Just gotta make sure all that taken care of before I apply that other stuff. Man, but this is actually pretty hard. It looks great. It's just pretty hard. Alright, now I'm just gonna put it in. That's what she said. All right. Hopefully, all right. I think I got it like, spot on. This looks pretty good. I, I know I didn't follow the video instructions completely, but I think so far it's going well. Knock on wood. Hopefully it didn't mess up. And now we're gonna blow dry the other side. All right, and now we're going to just stick it once again. And I think the back side is done. I see no bubbles. And as far as I can tell, it's right right on the money. 
right on the corners. Everything looks perfectly fine. Let's just take an overview of that. That looks really nice. Black, uh, with the black carbon fiber and white carbon fiber camera. That looks really nice. All right, now time to do the front side, which should be a lot easier, hopefully. So far, this whole process is a lot harder than I thought, especially that back side. Hopefully the front side isn't, isn't very hard. It's only two small pieces, so. I mean, how hard can it be? And I don't think I need the blow dryer for this one, or for these two pieces. We're gonna start off with the top. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the harder one, harder of the two sides, just because the top has those camera cutouts, so. I'm gonna go with it, and I think the, the color I got for the top was blue. Yes, here it is. I got blue for the top. We're gonna see how it goes. Wow, this is impossible. The phone, it's black, so you can't even see the camera thing. You can't see the lenses or the sensors. All right, I'm gonna do this side, it's more visible. All right, I think I got it. Now we're just gonna, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to blow it right this side. All right, now, now thinking about it, I think the bottom part's gonna be harder because there's no sensors or anything. You can't even see, like, you can barely see where the, where the screen ends and where the bottom chin starts or the bottom bezel, so. Man, this one's gonna be hard, gonna be tough. But it's the last one, so. After this, we're all done. This is probably becoming a longer video than I thought. A lot longer. Hey, at least we didn't have to use the other top part. We have one to spare. And now we have the bottom one. We're probably gonna have to use both of them, because I know I'm gonna mess up. All right, here we go. I think I got it. I think, I think I got it. Yes, I got it. Okay, so now we're just gonna blow dry the bottom. And make sure that stick. You know what's one way to know if you if you got the top and bottom wrong? Look at the edge display, how it's uh, like changing color as you play music. You can see it lighting up there, and nothing's getting cut off, not even at the top. So I did a good job. I did well with this. All right. So now I'm just gonna. I'm pretty much done, uh, but after this, I'm just gonna make sure that the corners are nice and, and stuck. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been an installation of the D-Brand skin for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. We got carbon fiber in multiple colors, uh, blue, white, and black all around. It looks very nice, definitely worth it, and it feels very nice too, so... I know it's not gonna protect it if I drop it, but it will protect it against scratches. So, and it feels good. I don't like cases, I've said that in multiple videos. So now I don't have to worry about putting it down on a on a rough surface, not like this one, but I don't have to worry about putting it down on a surface without a case. I'm, I know it's not going to get scratched. It was a little harder than I thought, uh, that's what she said, but I got through it and I think it looks great. Definitely worth it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.